Hey! Ever open an unfamiliar Angular project and wish you had someone to walk you through that code line by line? Let Gemini be that someone. In this video, we use Google AI Studio and have Gemini talk us through an Angular service. I'm in StackBlitz with my symbol sample application open. This is the code we want to walk through. Here is Google AI Studio. It's currently free and can be found at aistudio.google.com. I'll select Stream Real Time so I can talk to Gemini and share my screen so Gemini can see it. A warning before we start. Don't say or share anything private. Google states that they will use the content you submit to them. See the Gemini API terms for more information. Here we go. I'll turn on my microphone and share my screen. Please explain this code. Certainly, I can help with that. This code is written in TypeScript and appears to be an Angular service that fetches vehicle data from an external API and manages the selected vehicle and quantity. It defines a class called Vehicle Service, which has a private variable vehicle URL that stores the URL of the external API and an injected HTTP client to make HTTP requests. The service manages two signals, selected vehicle, which holds the currently selected vehicle, and quantity, which tracks the number of selected vehicles. The quantity signal is wait, linked to wait. the select. Uh, can you okay, please explain in detail how this linked signal works? Okay, I can explain how the linked signal works. The linked signal in this code is used to reset the quantity value to zero or one whenever the selected vehicle changes. This linked signal takes two arguments. The first is source, which is the selected vehicle signal, and the second is a computation function that is triggered whenever the selected vehicle changes. The computation function receives the current value of the selected vehicle signal, represented by V. If the selected vehicle is defined, it returns one. Otherwise, if the selected vehicle is undefined, it will return zero. This mechanism ensures that the quantity signal is reset to zero whenever there's no selected vehicle and to one when there's a selected vehicle, ensuring that it reflects the selection state. Great, I'm gonna scroll down, please continue. Okay, I see you have scrolled down. It looks like the code now includes computed signals for calculating the total cost, determining the color based on that total and fetching vehicle data using Rx resource. Is there anything specific you'd like to explore in this part of the code? Please talk me through line by line, starting with line 35. Okay, let's go through the code line by line, starting with line 35. Line 35, private vehicles resource equals Rx resource. Line 36, loader equals greater than this. HTTP dot get less than vehicle response greater than this dot vehicle Stop. URL dot pi. Please explain the code, not read the code. Okay, I understand. Instead of reading the code line by line, I should explain what it does. The Rx resource on lines 35 to 39 is used to fetch vehicle data from the AP I specified earlier. The loader function makes an HTTP request to that URL, and then the map transforms the response to extract the results. The computed signal on line 40 vehicles extracts the value from the vehicle's resource. If the value doesn't exist, it defaults to an empty array of vehicle. The computed signal error on line 41 extracts the error from vehicle's resource and casts it as an HTTP error response. The computed signal on line 42 error message will set the error message, while the computed signal on line 43 error status will extract the status from vehicle's resource. And finally, the eyes loading signal on line 44 indicates if the data is loading. The effect on line 46 is to monitor any errors that may occur when fetching vehicles and log those errors in the console. Does that explanation work better for you? Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me know if you have any more questions. That was cool. We now have someone that is available any time, day or night, to walk us through any code. It's thorough and patient and did a great job. For more interesting uses of this tool, check out Amber's video, Is This the Death of Tutorials? Testing out Google AI Studio Gemini 2.0. Thanks for watching, and if this content was helpful, please like and subscribe.